Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this video is going to be mostly about EDC accessories. So let's check some of this stuff out. This is the Kaiser PPY. It is a new model from Kaiser. Just quickly, I'll show you. It's black micarta with red micarta, 154 cm drop point blade, amazing action, really nice detent. Just a perfectly well-tuned detent, extremely, extremely smooth. And they have the jimping in the right place, deep carry pocket clip that is reversible. Really cool little knife. Now, if you do want to get some Kaisers, I, I do have 10% off on Mojave Outdoors, or I just I can link them below for you too if you just want to buy them outright from Amazon. But what I want to show you today is something that Hawaii Knife and Gear sent me. Shout out to Hawaii Knife and Gear awesome dude he lives in hawaii and he does amazing things with koa wood which is a wood that grows on in hawaii and i don't believe it grows anywhere else at least this type of koa and this koa wood is like it plays with the light it's so beautiful like if you look at it from this direction you don't really see the stripes as much and then you turn it in certain directions you see the stripes they pop out it is just so beautiful gorgeous and then he put a little piece of shell in there and you can't feel it it's seamless now this is a little victorinox so what he basically does is he takes other things that have some sort of scale or whatever and he modifies them by taking off the the, the original scale and putting on the koa wood that he makes by hand he does this all by hand and it's amazing amazing work now this one's kara's just a little victorinox um and then this one is a money clip that he made for me. Same thing, we have the, the shell inlay with the koa wood. And again, you can really see how it plays with the light. It's just so beautiful. Very, very smooth to the touch. This is a money clip with a couple with a, a blade and a file. Very, very cool. Then next he made me a, a finger spinner, right? It's a finger spinner. So which I do really, really appreciate. It's very awesome, very well made, very, very light. And again, it's made out of this beautiful koa wood, Hawaiian koa wood. Very, very cool. I, uh, I can't believe how light it is. Like, if I didn't feel it touching me, I wouldn't even know something was in my hand. It's that light. This is incredibly light yet incredibly hard so you can definitely feel that it's a very hard wood but very light i'm kind of surprised this isn't something that you commonly see companies using maybe it's just because there's just not enough of it and hawaii doesn't you know allow it i'm not positive but thank you man i do appreciate this this is such an awesome gift go and check his channel out i will link it down in the description Next is the Merry Men EDC. I recently showed these on my channel. They sent me and Kara one. So Kara's got one and it's basically a multi-tool little driver. So obviously it's also a little, you know, little knuckler. But besides that, we have a, um, a wrench bit, I guess, right here. You know, you can... Uh, I'm not sure the size right there. I haven't used it, but it looks like uh, three quarters, maybe a half inch. Let me just measure it really quick. Yeah, half inch. So we got a half inch bit right there. This is for a lanyard, which I do plan on putting lanyards on this. So we're going to talk about that here in just one second. Next, you have a little nail puller. A uh, little scraper, bottle opener, and then we have bits. Now, he recently sent me some more bits, which, which I think is awesome because he said he was going to do it. He said he had some more bits coming out, <clears throat> some better quality bits and different sizes. And just sent them right along. No questions asked. Um, we have Now we have the T10 and T8 combo, T6 and T8, and then the Phillips and the Flathead, and then the little washers that go in the middle that help you to keep them, you know, so you can keep two in your driver. So you can keep the T10 in here or the Phillips in the flathead, but it does have a magnet on the inside. These are really cool. I do like them. And then these bits are a little bit better quality than my original ones. So very awesome. And like I was talking about with the, <clears throat> with the lanyards, I think they'll look really good. Like, you know, with some sort of bit or something. Now, if I pull this little thing over here, 
like, you know, I like with certain things, I like putting little beads on, you know, like my accessories, not necessarily my knives, but like with little mini fly, um, pry bars and things like that, you know, skull beads or, you know, whatever titanium beads you like. We anodize that one ourselves. This one's got like a rock pattern on there. Just very cool little accessories that you kind of dress up that, yeah, a lot of times they're, they're for you know, Instagram and pictures, but they are still useful and they are cool to, to, you know, to have and to carry. And they, they can be very useful. This is just a little, um, angle finder and a little bottle opener. It's made out of titanium. I use it for, um, angle finding, but anyways, next thing I want to show is something that was recommended by Lefty EDC. And I'm not sure if there's any more available or not, but it's the Dapper flashlight. It's just a little mini flashlight, 650 lumens. It is titanium, has a really nice clip on it. And then this is, you can program it basically. So right now I have it locked. So you click it five times for a lock. And then you can turn it on. And that tells you it's on. And it is very bright. You do have modes you can set it on. You can set it on the mode you want. It is magnetic on the back side. And like I said, it is USB rechargeable. But the cool thing about it, it is super compact. It is titanium, stone wash. So it has a good look to it. Very light, very easy to carry. And it's super bright. Or you can have it on the low mode where it's not super bright. Now, my first experience with Dapper was from my brother. He sent me this little Dapper... Um, What's it called? Um, uh, oh man, a key, a key dangler, I think is what it's called. So this goes on your pocket. So then you can dangle your keys on the inside of your pocket without them hitting the bottom of your pocket. So your keys never stab you in the leg or anything. They just kind of dangle. Now you can also hook this around your belt loop. So you just hang it right from your belt loop and then it hangs from your side. Now it has a little 440C double detent blade. Very good little detent on this. Very snappy. You can actually hear it. Very, very snappy. And then it comes with a couple of these wire uh, keychains, smaller ones and bigger ones. But this is titanium, and I think they're like 50 bucks. Like 50 bucks, titanium, 440C little blade. The blade came extremely sharp. And it's just something cool. You can, you know, to dangle your keys in your pocket on or on your hip. So... I already knew that Dapper did some pretty good stuff. So when I seen Lefty was recommending this, I quickly grabbed one. They were like 65 bucks. So that's not too bad. Now, really quick, I want to show you guys some other little flashlights from Through Night. So this one is one that I think is probably the the most recommended for EDC that I've seen from Through Night. And it's just a little rechargeable. T1S, it comes on a clip. It's super bright. It does have a magnet to it, so you can, you know, magnet it to things and very easy to use. And it's super compact, so you can carry it in your pocket very easily. It does have a clip where you can clip it on your hat or in your pocket. And it does have a little lanyard um, tube. But Super bright, very reliable, well made. Um, I do like these this one a lot. And it comes with all the little accessories that you might want, including a lanyard and uh, the charging cord. Now, this one maxes out for the lumens at 1,080 lumens. Just really quick, just to show you what it does. We have the strobe, 1,080 lumens. Then we have the Firefly, half lumen, seven lumens, 407 lumens. And the turbo is 1,212 lumens. So that is pretty bright for such a little compact light. And I, I love it. I love this little guy. It works really well. Seems to be very reliable. Charges fast. It holds a charge really well, which is very important to me for these little EDC lights is how good they hold a charge, you know, because a lot of them, it seems like they just go dead so fast. Now, if you really want to mean some business, this is a bigger one. Now, this thing is absolutely a beast it is extremely extremely bright now it throws light 
very, very well. And it's not like just the, the spotlight one. I did have a little compact one, very similar, that was a spotlight one, which was this one right here. This one is, it basically just throws a perfect straight beam and it's super bright as well. This one's different though. This one is more, let me move this really quick. And it does come with all the accessories and everything. But this one is more heavy duty, very bright, no magnet though. That's the only thing, no magnet, but there's the battery, nice big battery. And that is a through night battery that comes included with it. Very good quality. You can feel the quality with this. It does have a good weight and see the lens there. Now this one maxes out at let me show you guys so this one maxes out at 4068 lumens extremely extremely bright so this is definitely uh more of a a rescue light self-defense light um hunting light i mean you name it whatever you think you might need a bright light for flagging down airplanes you know things like that and the button is really good it works very well you know you do have the little light indicator there for when it's going dead or when it's charged charges really quick holds a good battery or good charge and it's really really good quality nice little box to store it into and yeah i uh I like these things a lot. I think through nights are very good quality. And as of lately, they've been some of my favorite uh, favorite lights. So um, there you guys go. I just figured we'd talk about a little bit of accessories really quick. Now, before you guys leave, if you entered into or if you're trying to enter into the giveaway, don't forget that those channels that you're supposed to follow you are supposed to watch their videos. If you don't watch any of their videos and you just follow the video and leave, YouTube has a protection against that and will flag you basically as a bot and they will unsubscribe you from the channel that you subscribe to because you subscribed without ever watching a video. Now, who does that, right? Whoever subscribes to a channel without ever seeing any of their content robots do right so you know the, the companies that sell subscribers and things like that they have bots that just subscribe to channels but it does nothing for the channel so youtube is um made a protection from this and that's what youtube will think you are if you don't watch any of the content before subscribing so make sure you watch some videos you guys have a whole week until we throw up the video for you to enter so within a week um, I guess we'll find out who is actually going to enter and who's not because a lot of the people that did want to join are not going to be able to because they're not going to be subscribed because they just went down the list and went sub, 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 sub. The point was for you guys to check the channels out. At the end of the week, after we do the giveaway, unsubscribe if you don't like the content, but at least they can let you check their content out and see if you like what they have. But there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.